This is my beloved Son, May 18. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Matthew chapter 3, 16 and 17. As Jesus asked for baptism, John drew back, exclaiming, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? With firm yet gentle authority, Jesus answered, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Matthew chapter 3, 14 and 15. And John, yielding, led the Saviour down into the Jordan and buried him beneath the water. And straightway coming up out of the water, Jesus saw the heavens opened and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. Mark chapter 1, verse 10. The solemnity of the divine presence rested upon the assembly. The people stood silently gazing upon Christ. His form was bathed in the light that ever surrounds the throne of God. His upturned face was glorified as they had never before seen the face of man. From the open heavens a voice was heard saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Matthew chapter 3, 17. The word that was spoken to Jesus at the Jordan embraces humanity. God spoke to Jesus as our representative. With all our sins and weaknesses, we are not cast aside as worthless. He hath made us accepted in the Beloved. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 6. The glory that rested upon Christ is a pledge of the love of God for us. His love has encircled man and reached the highest heaven. The light which fell from the open portals upon the head of our Saviour will fall upon us as we pray for help to resist temptation. The voice which spoke to Jesus says to every believing soul, This is my beloved child, in whom I am well pleased. Our Redeemer has opened the way so that the most sinful, the most needy, the most oppressed and despised may find access to the Father. All may have a home in the mansions which Jesus has gone to prepare.